And also as part of what we're doing with the STEM camp is also allowing you to see how a lot of science, technology, engineering, maths connects to us as Aboriginal people. The one thing about science, technology, engineering, maths, they're just another way of looking at the world to explain the world around us. And Aboriginal people have been doing that for 40,000 years plus. We've been looking at the world, we understand the world, and we see it for our own way. And the best way to sort of let us come across to explain that is that we actually, Aboriginal thinking is around pattern thinking. We see the patterns of the world around us. This is a pretty special invention, this one. And this one can lead to the invention of the propeller, which is what gives you your lift with the drone. So basically, with the invention of a boomerang, in your culture, this invention of swear inventors, this has led to flight. It has a direct link with, between things that you already do. Like some people might play games and it's almost like controlling a, um, an aeroplane in a game. ones you're going to shoot them from. Remember, different colours mean different points. Okay? So, if you shoot from the blue one, it could only be one point. If you shoot from the red one, it might be two points. Or the yellow one could be three points. Don't know. That's what Chris is going to let you know at the end of it. So, you've got to work out who's going to shoot from which point. Second one of those two, what we actually have to do again. No. Two, four, zero. Because the whole, whole thing about this is information. Yeah? So once I tell you a total score, you have to back to anybody else because they can use that information and work out. <laughs> Beat to We Will Walk You by Queen. Yes, I will. We will walk you. My name is Hannah Yang. I'm Anton Siebel. And we are running the Math, Music and Culture workshop today at uh, the STEM Camp Gingerbine. Um, we're looking at how music, math, and culture is all incredibly interweaved, particularly music and maths. Um, normally the kids don't see something creative like music and songwriting and playing a guitar to be a mathematical pattern and also how that works in with, with culture and storytelling and, and through song. So we're showing them different ways of combining those three things, uh, including some little worksheets uh, showing how you can spell words with music and how you can do turn a mathematical equation actually into a song. Learn how the notes work, like the beat. The workshop's about how math, music and culture work. But it's good to come over here and see what it's like. Just being able to be in all the workshops and all that. So it explains uh, what four dimensions would be like and how we can link culture in with that and what applications might um, arise from that. So what I got the students to do was that to get their heads around what dimensions are. First we talked about the rainbow serpent uh, and how he roamed a flat world, a 2D world and how he made structure and form to that in 3D. And we explain it in a way that it's quite visual and very hands-on. So eventually the students get a hold of this program called 4D Toys and they play around with 
their hands and they see how these 3D objects sort of disappearing and reappearing in 4D space or a 3D perspective of what this 4D space is and then they can slide up and down on what and to get a different perspective on each of those dimensions. I'm Kale at the STEM camp in Jindabyne and my mob is Barkindu, Wakamara, Yira Yira, Nari Nari and Muddy Buddy. <laughs> Spears, okay. And these are very light, and of course they float. But in my family, they call Gorara. Can you say Gorara? Now, Gorara represents lightning strike, okay? You're welcome to get photographs later on with your friends or your family. Now, you all know about Aboriginal toys. You see them? Yeah. Well, we're going to make some tonight, okay? These toys, what my family made when we lived on the rivers, okay? So these are Aboriginal river toys. So while you're spending your time here, keep your eyes open, look around you for evidence of animals and evidence of people. And people. Oh. When we see this, we call it scribble, and some of the sometimes people call these a scribbly gum because of all that scribble over there in the bar. Yeah, it doesn't, Has, have, the, oh, it doesn't have the V leaves. No, that's yeah. a mama gum that you're looking at. We have to do two different trees. So, oh, oh great, let's go. Has it got lengthwise or has it got V shaped veins in the leaves? You tell me. V shaped veins. V shaped veins. They can grow up to two meters high. Shrubs pour under leaf three. Um, parallel vines, flower clusters. And if you look through here, it looks pretty big. You twist it one way and I'll twist it the other way. See the birds, the ducks, eh? and that's a boombara, boombara. And that's the ducks here, they're flying. That's their camp, right? Yeah. Just over that hill there, that's Victoria oh, yeah. down there. Is that Victoria? Yeah. That's a different state, I've never seen Victoria. Uh, well, see Victoria. yes, I'm going to Victoria. The dead horse gap. So that's where the Victorian Aborigines came up, met my people, and we oh, came sorry. up here and we shared ceremony, song and dance, also local foods, bogong moss, and then we travelled off towards Kosciuszko. Mount Kosciuszko we call Jagungal. So different ways um, that we can show these children um, uh, mathematics by using some of our symbols and some of our, our cultural techniques and um, to try and show them that some of these um, alien symbols of the, the plus signs and the negatives and the divides and the times and all these things can be um, substituted that are complemented from, from our culture. Today everyone's work uh, investigating which uh, fire starting methods that are common across Australia are the most efficient for them. So they're doing that by using a, uh, the timers and the temperature guns to look at which uh, method they find transfers uh, energy a lot more efficiently and gets them to smoke. So this was used all across Australia as a common fire starting methods with drill stick methods, fire saw methods, fire plows and, and it worked from transferring energy through the human body and through the timber and eventually into um, heat, energy and light energy.
everything you use has some sort of magnet, even PS4s. and I'm from Byron Rai for this school. The most thing I enjoy at Stumford is making new friends and doing activities that I don't really do and learning more about my culture. Hi, my name's Salah. My name's Alex. And the thing that we really like about Stumford was the chair lift up the mountain of, like, and the drone from the workshop. Hello, I'm Joel. Um, I'm from Briar Road. I'm a teacher's aide. Um, I was, I was raised down the south coast, um, I'm Ewan from Ewan Monaro and um, the first thing is just meeting new people, you know, meeting new family even. We all come from a, you know, a little community, different mobs everywhere but somehow we're all related, we all got the same last name and uh, my favourite thing was just, just meeting, new, meeting new kids and helping them out and becoming my brothers and sisters so yeah, that's my favourite thing. I'm going to miss this place, STEM camp.